Okay, in this video we're going to learn how to test an EVAP vent valve, which is the most common cause of an EVAP leak. Um, typically known to set codes like P0442, P0455, and P0456, which are all EVAP leak codes. On this vehicle, um, the EVAP vent valve is located on the actual EVAP canister which is on the inner fender of this Chrysler 300. Uh, the valve itself is right here. It's got a two pin electrical connector right there. I'm going to unplug. We're going to go ahead and pull this uh, vent valve out so I can show you how to test bench test it manually. Um, this one just has a clip on the bottom and twist out. Uh, different vehicles have different style vent valves. This is just uh, this is the most common Chrysler style vent valve or some people call them uh, shut valves and they fail pretty regularly and they like I said they set a number of different uh, EVAP leak codes okay so we got this bent valve out here on the bench and I actually have my power probe and I'm going to apply power and ground to the um, electro electronic portion of this valve and all it is is a, is, a, is, is a magnetic winding that pulls a plunger shut inside. And then it has a tube. So you can apply power to it like this. And then you can actually try and blow inside of this valve. And when you apply power to it, it should close. Meaning you shouldn't be able to blow through it. Um, if you apply power to it and you can blow through it, then that means the valve's failed. In this particular case, I apply power to it and it doesn't do anything at all. Typically you would hear a click. Um, you can actually, on this one, you can physically watch inside to see if that valve op opens or closes if it's moving. When I apply power to this valve, it doesn't do anything at all, which means um, the coil winding inside this has actually failed, and it's an open circuit. So um, this valve is definitely no good. We're going to put a new vent valve, but uh, like I said, um, these vent valves are the most common problem for most EVAP leak codes like the PO442, PO455, and PO456. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up button if it was helpful from the Flat Rate Mechanic. You can find a link to this power probe below in the description.